Hi everybody, right, um, in addition to my previous video that I've done um, regarding on how I always wanted to make an arcade machine and I've got my own little one here I've actually found some videos about previous upgrades and stuff and one thing that I'd forgotten about was these bits here one of these was incorrect on that one it had a big screw, a big screw thing on it and uh, I'd forgotten all about that and I'd not included that in my, part of my updates which is not major or anything but it was a bit of a pain because every time you were moving the joystick sometimes you'd sometimes catch your finger on it and it was a bit sharp so uh, I managed to get one from somewhere I think I found it in the shed or something but um, yeah I hope you enjoy these little videos that I've done and uh, I'll do a little extra videos as well at the end to show you little bits and bobs about the machine as well okay I've actually managed to get all the other joystick thing connected up um, the other thing which is better is that I've got actually the same ones on here because the other one which is here was that horrible brute of a thing if it'll focus and that was stuck on the top on one of that bit there and as you can see that looks a lot better slightly disappointed with the joystick it's a little bit sticky I like that look see and it's, sometimes it's a bit I don't know if it's me bedding in or what uh, but I do the, the other thing as well um, I've had to change the configuration so that instead of it like pushing up now go down a page and right goes right up and so basically up and down and left and right have gone round because the wires weren't long enough for the USB connections but uh, it looks a lot better I think two two red ones with that much better okay I've uh, another thing I did earlier I got some cheap lights from Poundland quite a while ago USB ones and uh, when I put things on you can see they actually light up these ones are supposed to light up on the player two but they don't seem to light up as well but hey I don't care I'm not bothered so what I've how I've set it up I mean currently I've, I've now loaded scramble up um, to insert a coin all you simply do all three buttons ideally I wanted to have something like a, a little joystick in the middle here uh, sorry not a joystick a button you know so you can insert a credit but I think it would be better around about there but that would then mean drilling holes into this uh, thing which is metal and I don't really think it's um, viable to do it to be honest so what you do play one button and there we go and then in the arcade if it was dodgy faulty controller but mine's not so and my buttons so fire bomb I have now finally installed this my second joystick actually so now it matches which I wasn't sure whether the the up down left and right which is my hence my bit there because before the when I previously configured the other one um it was on a different uh, there was sort of like your left was up your right was down and stuff like that so it wasn't actually proper but it's actually now connected up properly so I've used kind of a colour coding system for them both um, which as it happens works so you've got green blue red uh, red, and that was actually supposed to be black but it's gone more purple colour but that doesn't matter so anyway you've got your green blue red purple so I'm actually quite pleased with it the only thing that's slightly down uh, or disappointing which I'm going to try and sort out in a minute is I put some tape thing at the side of the silver monitor rather than a black one as you can tell from the bits there and then a little bit at the side you might have a, there's a come off a little bit as well so here you can see why I changed the black joystick for a red one all right as you can tell here this is quite a uh, difficult thing to sort of get to the side of and I'll just show you the video now well the bit down there the plug I'm not sure if you can see it down there is actually down there so the actual socket that I've got the extension lead runs from down there all the way up here and that's the, um, the setup of it there. The plugs are in there, look. And then that little switch there. If that pole went in, where you get a better picture of it. There we go. That's the actual switch I use, obviously, to turn it on and off. And it's held onto the machine by some just a couple of screws that I put in. Uh, screws underneath the socket that it can just like slide onto. Which I obviously measured about, which is good. 
another little thing that uh, I've done is that I've attached a little USB cable, uh, an extension cable to the uh, the machine because obviously I'm trying to connect to the computer which is inside. It's a bit of a, a nuisance to do it because I have to keep undoing this lock all the time. I mean, it's no biggie to unlock it, you know, but it's a lot easier if you've got the, the cable there. So here I've still got the wiring from the original uh, coin mechanism because I thought I'm, I didn't want to take that off. Um, that's the light that goes behind. Uh, sorry, that's the light there. The light that goes behind that to have to light it up. Um, that the little bits there are bent uh, using some sort of pliers. Just so that the, the actual cable bit, power machine here, um, that bit there that, that goes into the USB port, which is the extension of this, goes underneath. Obviously, goes it couldn't actually go there because of this metal block thing being in the way. And rather than dismantling it all, take it to pieces, etc., um, I thought it'd be just easy just to bend that bike, have it look like that. Um, and it works really well. Uh, the other things while I've got the light on is that's my little extension um, lead, which is obviously a thing for Bluetooth, but I don't use Bluetooth anyway anymore, but it's still there. Um, the two extension things for the two little lights, one there, the other one there I'm just showing you. Uh, that's the actual machine itself. It's got a 802.11n uh, USB 2 port. Um, sorry, then the the new Wi-Fi because um, it didn't have a Wi-Fi card in it, but uh, it's got a rewritable drive in it. Again, don't really use that cards, readers, and stuff. Don't really use them either. It's basically just to be stuck in here, and that little USB thing there is the controller for my wireless keyboard, which is really good and useful. Um, and that's my little my old speakers. Uh, fant big fantasy speakers, multimedia amplified subwoofer speaker system it's called but and it works really well um, when you start playing the sounds and stuff with the bass it's really nice and bassy in it um, and just over the back because it's got a little slant that's my old TV monitor that was in it uh, but when you want to take the top bit off um, you put your hand up sort of up there up the hole and over the sides there's two little connect things that pull the well, you can see it there, look, that's it. Which lifts this bit down, the metal bit, uh, you know, that, can, that holds the joystick and the buttons. And that really pretty much is it. Done. Obviously, the only thing now, is, you know, it's a little bit, a bit thing with all this metal bits here coming off of the, the paint. Uh, I need to really get some, ideally get some black paint or something and you know, touch it up a little bit, make it look, just look a bit neater, and that looks all right. Uh, but once that's done, that'll look great, I think. Hi, as ever, um, if you've enjoyed this video, um, give me a like, subscribe to my channel, because I'd like to start doing some uh, live things at some point with YouTube, but it won't let me unless I've got a thousand subscribers. Um, but anyhow, apart from that, uh, hope, like I say, I hope found the video useful. Hope it's given you some tips for your own ideas if you want to do your own machine. Um, and also, I do some free smartwatch watch faces. You can get them from my Facebook channel, uh, which is here. So if you do a search for that, um, subscribe to the group and you'll be able to see all the available free ones. Um, some examples come up here. So... What can, what can I say? Thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it and uh, I'm quite pleased with it so I need, maybe need a new product.